What's happening guys? Welcome to another tutorial by Kui. Today I'm gonna show you how to make a curtain in Blender in three different ways. Let's check it out. The first method is a non-physical method. We add a plane and then I rotate it by 90 degrees. Then go to the edit mode and add some loop cuts. Then we select all the vertical edges and then select checker deselect. And then move it out a little bit. Then we add some uh, horizontal loop cuts. Select the first vertex and then select the second vertex. Then I control shift and um, pad plus to uh, repeat the selection. Then go to the vertex and assign a vertex group. Then uh, go to the physics and add a cloth. We're gonna add the vertex group at the pin group. And then hit play. The physics is start to working. Let's add uh, more subdivision. And then uh, hit play again. Okay, maybe it's too much. Yeah, about it. Just uh, hit to the collision and turn on the self collision. About 5 millimeters is okay. And then hit play it again. Okay, it's trying to form the curtain, which is good, and that's it. Okay, the first method is quite good but it's not the best. Okay, now let's jump to the second method. We are gonna have the plan again and uh, subdivide it like many times. Uh, maybe 40. Okay, that's good. Let's select the first row on the top and add, not this one, and add the vertex group. Uh, get out of the edit mode and add the shape key, add another one and then go to the edit mode and then we scale it down like that tap again and then we can change the value of the shape key let's go to the number 0 and add the keyframe to the value then go to the 30 frame and uh, change the value to 1 Add another keyframe and then it's animating. It's just perfect. Now I head into the physics and add a cloth. Same as the, the previous, we're gonna have a collision, self collision, set the distance, and then uh, remember to add the pin group. Okay, and then just hit play. And ta da! It's not quite good. Maybe it's not enough polygons. Just so divide it a little. And then again. Whoop. Okay, it's smoother. Okay, and stop right there. Change the shade is smooth. And then we have it. Another current. The problem of this method is the top row is sticking together and that's not very realistic but don't worry we have the third method which is the physically accurate method I would say just add another plane and certify it like five times then we select the first vertex control H and hook to new object 
and then repeat the same thing with the rest vertices. Okay. And now subdivide it a little more, like five, six. Okay, now we're gonna animate the uh, empty object. Just hit I, location, and go to the frame 60, and then pull it in together. You can see the vertices are stretching, which is just what we want. If it's stretching, then you're doing the right way. Okay, hit I and location again. And then we can see it animating, just like we are physically close the curtain. And the last step is to assign some vertices as vertex group. And we're gonna select the first row and then uh, add a new group, hit assign. Go to the physics tab, not this one, physics, and then uh, set the pin group, then animate it. Wow, so realistic, is it? Okay, just set it to smooth, and then maybe we'll add another subdivision here. Then just uh, let it play it again. Oh, oops, not that. Okay, let it play it again. It was smoother. But the fabric seems too hard for me. So I'll add a subdivision in the edit mode and uh, delete the subdivision modifier. And let it play again. Okay, now it's way softer and smoother, I would say. And we're gonna stop at this point. There is some weird little thing is going on, so we're gonna fix that. Go to the physics cloth again and change the preset to denim. Okay, just hit play again. Okay, just like that. We're gonna delete the empties. So delete those and apply the cloth. Then we have the shape. Yeah, right, just a shape. And add another subdivision. And this one is good. So we're gonna change the matte cap to something like fabric. I think it's okay. And then go to the edit mode. I'm gonna fix the shape a little. Hit O for proportional editing and scale it down by the Y axis. And there we have it. Three ways to make a curtain. Realistic curtain. Okay, that's all for today guys. If you like this video, just hit like, and if you want to see more, just subscribe. Check out my Ashbiz tutorial series, and I'll see you guys next time.